What's going on gamers? Today we're going over your billing account. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our tutorial videos. The heart of your service's billing information can be found on the Apex Billing Panel. Whether you need to upgrade, downgrade, pay, or request help, you can do it all from here. Before we even get into anything though, do not share the number in the top left with anyone. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the services section. This is where you can see any servers you may have, whether it's one or many. And what you're going to do is you're going to be able to click the view all tab that's in yellow there, and you'll be able to get a more in-depth look. And this is where you would upgrade or downgrade your servers. So what that means is you would go ahead and click on one of the servers you're working on, and you can see that there's a big green upgrade button right in the middle there. And that's what you would click in order to get started on that process. Same for the downgrade. The next thing they're going to look at is the how to purchase add-ons section, which is also in the bottom left hand side. You know, go ahead and select that tab and you can see a list of many different products that we provide for one time payments. And the way that you check this out is you would go and scroll to the one that you want to search for. And the one I'm going to look at is mod pack creation and I'm going to select order now. Once it loads up, which may take a minute, you'll be able to be taken to the next page where you can review and check out. Next, we're going to talk about tickets, and you can see right here in the home page that there's an easy section to create new tickets, but let's talk about what types there are first. First, there's open, which means that you've created one and it will be looked at eventually. Next, it is in progress, meaning that a support team member is currently working on the ticket and will reply soon. Closed means that the ticket's been closed by staff or by yourself, and it's useful to indicate when the ticket's no longer needed. Answered means that one of our staff members have gotten back to you, and customer reply means that you've gotten back to them. That's basically what the types of tickets are. So now let's get into how to make your own ticket. So head back to your main page of your panel and select the create new ticket section. You're going to see a list of variety for whichever ticket you may need. And based on whatever you need help with, you're going to go ahead and select that one. Let's say that I need help with some login assistance. I would click the login assistance one. Then it'll take you to a page where you have an open ticket and it'll automatically fill out your name and your email address and you'll fill out whatever you need to fill out in order to submit said ticket. Now let's talk about invoices. Invoices are basically where you can see more or less the receipts of whatever you paid or unpaid for your billing account. So go to the top bar in the red area and click the invoices tab. This is where you can see different types of payments. For example, you can see that I have all my payments paid. While on this page, let's talk about the add funds tab. Adding funds is basically making a deposit in advance, and that can be a minimum of $10 or a maximum of 100 at once. And the maximum total that you can have in balance is 300. So whatever amount you would want to put, let's say it's $10 just like that, then you would attach it to the debit card that you have attached to the file and you would add the funds in. It's pretty simple, it's very helpful, and we even have a PayPal option if you need to use it. Next, let's talk about one more thing on this page, which is the fund balance notifications. And if you go to the bottom left hand side where add funds were, you can click on that too. This basically sets a minimum amount. If your money falls below that certain amount, then you'll get a notification saying that your funds are running low. So just as an example, you could set the reminder at $10 and you would just basically fill that out, select save changes, and you'd be set to go. You'd get a reminder for any funds that fall below that threshold. Back at the home page, in the top right hand corner, you can see something that says, hello, your name. The first thing I wanna mention is the account details at the top. What that one is, is where you can see all of your personal information for the account that's set up. I won't show you that because that's my personal information. But let's take a look at payment methods. This is where your payment methods, i.e. your card, your PayPal, whatever it may be, can be found. You can add a new credit card or delete the one that you currently have. This is where you handle all the card information. The next thing we're gonna take a look at is the email contacts. What this basically is, is it allows somebody else to run your billing panel if you give them the permission to, without you being there. 
What you would do is fill in all the personal information for that person. You would fill in their name, their company name, their email, their address, so on and so forth. You would set any email preferences that you want them to have, and you would go scroll down to the bottom and click the save changes. Moving on, we are going to go to the same tab and we're going to click the change password. What this does is pretty self-explanatory. You can enter your existing password in the first tab, and if you want to change it, you can change it to something new in the new tab. We do recommend that you generate a random password because that will make a strong one for you. But if you have one that works, then go ahead and use that one. Next, let's head back to the top right one more time, and we'll look at the security settings tab. What this is, is basically your extra layer of protection. This is where you can check your security questions, any linked accounts you may have, or even make two-factor authentication enabled, which we highly recommend. It's the best way to prevent any sort of hacking or things of that nature. Finally, we're gonna go back up to the top right and select the email history. This is basically where you can check any receipts on anything that you may have had emailed to you. You'll find it all here. As you can see, there's quite a bit to explore in this panel, but it's all very helpful. And if you need any extra help, you can always put in a ticket to our live chat, who work 24 seven to make sure that you get what you need. That'll do for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.